Hello, it's Richard from Eurovision Island here and joining me today is Anne Yeezer from Albania. How are you? Thank you, you? You're very famous for being the first ever artist to represent Albania at Eurovision and you finished seventh with the image of you. How was it there back in 2004? Yeah, when you say it like that, it sounds like it's a long time ago. and. Uh, yeah, uh, it's been 14 years now in 2004. Um, I I was feeling very very uh, excited, but in the meantime, very a bit scared. I would have said because it was just my um, that it was my one of my first steps into my music career. So um, yeah, but in the meantime, sometimes. Uh, that makes it easier. So I was really enjoying it. I really enjoyed it uh, a lot. <laughs> yeah. And considering back in 2004, it was only a one semi-final format. Do you think it's more difficult for you to qualify then than it is now when you got two semi-finals and twice as chance to qualify? Uh, there were two semi-finals in my year. I remember. Yes. yes. yes sorry. Um, uh, so. Obviously, you are considered to be one of the most successful Albanian entries, only being beaten once in terms of position by Rona with Zeus back in 2012. So how does that make you feel? Oh, uh, I was feeling a little bit relieved actually when that happened because I was feeling a little bit under pressure every time there was Eurovision going on. Everybody was looking like, uh, oh, will it be above, will it be um, up your... Um, your uh, scores and I was like oh finally it happened and what I was more happy with uh, is that it happened with a singer that really really deserved not only to be in the fifth position I believe even more She's, she was wonderful so yeah I'm really grateful for that You've been back to Festivali Akengas twice now, 2008 and 2012, where you finished second. Yeah. Are you going to come back again and do you want to make the Eurovision stage again? Well, if there is a fast track, I'll do it again. But I don't think I'm going to do it again um, in that way. Just the reason I actually wanted to do that festival, first of all, is because it is a very important festival for Albania and it's a very good way to, to publish your songs, to, to get in touch with your public and it's really, really good uh, to be on stage, first of all, and sing your new songs and then, of course, it's great also to have a, a second experience in Eurovision, mostly when you are more adult and more mature, let's say, and ready for it, not that it's the first time that I wasn't even ready for it. So, yeah, that was it. Would you ever consider writing an entry for another artist to perform? Oh, that I don't know. I never thought that, but um, that would be amazing actually because uh, I really love to, to share whatever my knowledge is and my experience to, to younger talents and that would be, that would be amazing. Brilliant. So what have you been up to outside of Eurovision, outside of Festival Ikengis? What have you been up to that we might not know about? I'm sorry, I... Um, what have you done outside of Eurovision? Oh, lots of other things. Uh, so there was there was a very good uh, trampoline, we call it, for my career. So as soon as I got back from Eurovision, I started to do a lot of other songs and music videos. And then back in 2008, I f finally released my album. And then I've done a lot of concerts and uh, gigs all around Europe, actually. So it's been a very, very busy 15 years music career until actually I moved uh, here in the UK where things are a bit more different and calm and it's like maybe starting from from the start a little bit. Not that kind of start because fortunately my, my uh, curriculum is full uh, with my music experience but it is different and it's a new public and new talent. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for spending time with us here. And every que every artist we meet, we do ask the same question: Where can your fans find you on social media? Oh, uh, they can find. I mean, I am grateful for everyone that follows me, uh, and lots of Eurovision fans. I love them all. <laughs> uh, but they always find me in um, Agnesa Shahini in my Facebook page, uh, and then in Agnesa Shahini official in uh, my Instagram. Um, yeah. Any, anywhere actually YouTube of course and yet with my name I use Shaini and I have a personal account in Facebook which is also edit Connolly 
just in case my my uh, marriage uh, surname. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much for spending time with us. Thank you so much to all of you.